is the thickest crab leg I've ever seen in my life. Do they have any predators in the ocean? Ugh. It doesn't go. How? There are over 4,500 known species of crab on our planet. King crab. The most expensive crab you're gonna find in Vietnam. Rice field crab. We're in a rice field, it's a crab, it's a rice field crab. Frog crab. It looks like a little frog sitting yeah, there. Yeah, a little frog. It's, um, it's not the little though. Spotted crabs. It's orange with all these white speckles and spots on it. Each of them delicious in their own way. Mm, very crabby, I would say. Crabby, with a B. Today, Twin and I are hunting down crab species. Take a look. Oh. <laughs> and recipes few have seen before. Oh my, what? what? Seeing what makes each crab unique. Oh my God. Yes. And whether or not they're worth the effort. My issue is this. I just want my gloves back. This is hard. So grab your crab cracking tools and a bill. Oh, son of a. This is about to get messy. Twin, how you doing? Good. Give me an awkward handshake? Yes. Ugh. <laughs> that was terrible. Never worked, yeah. Today, it's all about the crabs. That's my favorite seafood. It tastes good, expensive too. And I'm paying for it? Yeah. <laughs> I like a big crab, uh -huh. but medium to small crabs are just a waste of time for me. It takes so much time for so little reward. But that's the whole point of eating crabs. It's like this whole experience, get oh. your hands dirty. I figured today you could be our meat retriever. I take it, yeah. All right, editor, here. Her name, Dwin, meat retriever. Sir, put her there. Nice you, Round two. Mr. Fung is the owner of this impressive seafood collection. He constantly wows his customers with new and rare items. Last time, he served us the biggest and toughest sea cucumber I'd ever seen. Ah. That's really dense. <laughs> My job. Today is about redemption. A little bit of a redo, but with a new species. This time with the crab. Our first crab is a mysterious creature who only exists in rumors. Oh my, what? what? An enigma unknown even to the World Wide Web. I think you should give it to her. No, you it. It's bumpy. Ugh. Are you sure this is safe for me to hope? Ah! This bumpy guy here is known to fishermen as a rock crab. He likes to hang out in rocks, but locals have another name for it. Power Ranger crab. Really? <laughs> yeah. The reason why is because this crab has a really thick and hard shell. They think that it's like the armor of the Power Rangers. So if all the power went into a crab, it might look like this. Destroy my image of Power Ranger completely. The Power Ranger crab has a body shaped like a blue crab, a shell similar to a king crab, and the claws of a stone crab. So the funny thing about this crab is one claw can hurt you, but this one cannot. This rare species is exclusive to the waters around Vietnam's Paracel Islands. Why is it so rare? He didn't really know, but it's just because the fishermen rarely have them. It's said that under that thick-shelled armor is a sweet and fragrant meat worth dying for, or at least worth paying $12 for. Oh, you're going to prepare this one today. He gonna cook this with salted egg yolk. First, the crab is boiled with lemongrass until it's cooked through. Then, they remove its cap, cut it in half, and deep fry it. The chef prepares a sauce of salted egg yolk, fresh milk, chili sauce, and mayonnaise. Coat the crab in that oddly delicious golden ooze and serve. This is where I usually go wrong with crab because I'm looking at this and uh, what do I eat? This is the best part! So I should peel that out? Yes, please. All right, ready? Ready. Oh, hi, bye. That one tiny bite, it was super sweet. It was almost chickeny at first, the texture. And then it's over. It is a short high. I want to sink my teeth into a huge bite. Get your plastic. Let's do this. Actually, these claws look good, but would you break all these legs? Of course. I want you to show me how it's done. Oh, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> this is the first time I deal with a spiky leg. Okay, I started to get your point. <laughs> You're right? I got a freaking bicep and a forearm and a claw right here. I'm gonna break this forearm and I'm gonna use the nutcracker here. Ow! Oof, these are powerful creatures. <gasps> I'm angry. Ugh. It doesn't go. <sighs> Power Ranger. Ah! Wow. I don't have that much force, I guess. It's our first real bite. Mm. It's good. It's sweet, it's got a nice dense texture to the meat. I still haven't gotten to the big boy right here. I'm breaking off the wrist. Ugh. I need a better grip, here we go. Did that do it? Wow! Dude, what? The bone inside the claw is giant. Look how little meat came off. This is probably the biggest part that you can get right. already. Every time I take a bite, I'm conflicted. Yeah. Like, it's good, but it then good. all of this work, then it's not good. <sighs> 
So I think this was uh, more like an appetizer mm -hmm. and get us excited for more. You excited for more? I mean, I need a whole meal now. Just say yes. Yes. Far from the warmer waters of the Pacific Ocean to the frigid seas off Norway comes our next crab. To meet this creature, we're headed to a Cantonese restaurant. Chef, yes. put it there. Chef Yang has over 30 years experience in the culinary arts. He's been the head of Levi's Kitchen since it opened in 2003. Here they focus a lot on a little more high-end ingredients. Speaking of ingredients, let's talk about the ingredient right next to us right now. I never seen this one before ever. I think you should pick up that one. There's no rubber band on. I've been to a seafood wholesaler. I grabbed the same type of crab and I had absolutely no problem. <laughs> So give it a try. Oh, there we go. He made a handle out of the back two legs. So this is a brown crab. This actually comes all the way from Norway. Norway, do better with naming your crabs. The brown crab is the biggest edible crab in Norwegian waters. They can live an impressively long time. That means there might be brown crabs around now who experienced World War I. Or, uh, at least they were alive during that time. It looks like it has a crimped edge to its shell, like a pie crust, although this is not filled with apples. The size of this pie crust shell varies between 3.5 to 6 inches. The legs look much more meaty than the last crab. I think we can actually get into these legs and pull out some meat. Is it really hairy because it comes from Norway? The claws are very respectable, so I'm guessing the best bite of meat would be here or maybe in the body, but let's ask the chef. Oh, you can pull back the butt. Oh flat. my god! Yes! He said this part, the best part in a chunk of meat. To start the cooking, Chef Yang separates the crab according to its body part. The body is quite large. Is there going to be a lot of meat inside of here? If it's like a female crab, we will get roe. Same logic for humans. If there's eggs inside, probably a female. You have eggs inside. God! The crab parts are coated with frying flour, then deep fried. Last step, stir fry it with a homemade dressing made from bean paste, egg, and chili sauce. Plate it, and it's out the door. The crab, obviously gorgeous, but what my attention is most drawn to is the utensils around us. No plastic gloves this time. What is this? It's like a mini fork for like going in deep, grabbing something and pulling it out. And then literally a pliers for pulling out a tooth. Beyond that, if you look at the crab. Oh my God, this is amazing. Oh, you have a crap load of eggs. I don't have any eggs. I'm male, I have a male crab. She has eggs inside, crab has eggs inside. Can I have some of your eggs? Of course. God, this is amazing. Oh my God. It almost feels like an omelet. The sauce, it's got yeah. some kind of chili. It's sweet. Kinda a little salty as well. Very strong sauce. But don't make that face. Oh, shoot. Sure. Very strong sauce. <laughs> he has taken apart and ripped out each leg. Should I use this? Okay, I got this leg. I'm gonna use my micro fork. Can I pull out any meat that way? Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> yes. This is the result of my toil and labor. Oh. Love it, Michelle. It's soft, it's stringy, it's kind of breaking apart. My issue is this, I just want my gloves back. Oh, like I got a lot of shell on that one. What the shell? At this point, I have to be honest with myself. I'm an imposter. I'm not a fancy diner. I don't even know how to use this crab surgery toolkit. Looks like I'll have to go back to what I know. We need gloves after all. I didn't know that. I just assumed fancy people knew how to summon the meat, but no, they have to get it out just like everyone else. Rich people are people. Yeah, we're also human. Brand. I mean, I mean, they're also humans. Oh, here you go. Here, the claw. He has hit it already. It's kind of coming apart. Here we go. That is a crab claw. Wow, look at those little Norwegian crabs. They know what they're doing. So that claw gave me much more of a true sense of the flavor of the crab. It's not been exposed to as much sauce. It kind of falls apart in your mouth, but it's kind of like most other crabs. I can't say it really stands apart. It's sweet, it's meaty, it's those two things. Obviously, we agree on the best part, right? Winners! The eggs are fantastic. A very unique, kind of turned up, fancified preparation of the crab from here. We have one crab experience remaining. And it's from Vietnam, so I'm excited. Loco! Loco means crazy in Spanish. <laughs> Lion City specializes in Singaporean cuisine. I was already here once before with my good friend Calvin. You know Calvin? Yeah. You know? Yeah. You guys hang out when I'm not with you? What are you, <laughs> no. what's going on? Their menu reflects the childhood favorites of its owner and head chef, Mr. Harry Ang. All right, put her there. Oh man, I am excited. Last time Calvin and I were here, he fed us fish head curry. Fish head was uh, invented by the Indians. And before that, fish did not have head. Today, it's all about what could possibly be Singapore's most popular famous dish. Yes. I'm talking about Singaporean chili crab. Ranked 35 on the world's 50 most delicious foods list compiled by CNN.
chili crab is a must-try dish for those visiting Singapore, or even if you don't. Have you ever had this? Yes, in Singapore. Can you pretend for the video that you've never had it? Just, it'll make more suspense. Have you ever had this? No. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> so it's gonna be your first time. Today, this dish will be made from a massive, farm-raised Vietnamese mud crab. I don't, uh, can you pick it up? I just got my nails done. Can, oh no, she'll do it, she'll do it. Why you always let me do this? <laughs> Just pull it up, pull it up, it's okay, it doesn't bite. Yeah, she's not in danger, your crab is in danger right now. <laughs> this big guy belongs to the mud crab family, coming from Ka Mau, a land famous for quality crab in Vietnam. How much would this one cost? A hundred dollar US. Wow. So when you were in Singapore, did you have a crab that big? Slightly smaller. Can you say much smaller? Okay, much smaller. Well, I'm sure it will be smaller than what we have because we control from the farm to the table. This kind of crab, it takes about seven to eight months, whereby what you see out in the market is around four to five months. They're raised on a farm? You have a farm, they have individual cage, you just feed them with a fish and they will just eat the fish. You can't leave them by themselves because they will fight. So they can be pretty intense, right? What if I took this off right now? If you bring the thing out, you have to hold by here. Probably it won't get me? No, no, it sure will not get you. Just don't let it go, okay? Oh, sorry, it's just stabbing my hand. I can do this though. I'm a professional, I'm trained. Oh! Let me help you with this. Oh my God! Let me settle him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. To start the cooking, the crab is cleaned, cut into pieces, and steamed through. Here's a problem we've been running into today. These crabs, they have skinny little legs. It's just a, really a lot of work to get through it. So in your case, we're gonna take out all the meat and you just enjoy it with a pair of fork and a spoon. How does it sound? Ah, no way. <laughs> Do you want yours just meat too? Of course! Officially not a meat retriever. Can no. we pull that from her title yeah. card? Time to make that signature chili sauce. Garlic, sambal, and crab brains all come together tomato sauce, sugar, and crab stock from the crab steaming. Add potato starch to give it a thicker consistency, and finally, an egg that's been badly beaten. Freaking oh, wow. gorgeous. This is the exact problem we were having, or I was having at least. Actually, you weren't doing that great either. Yeah, yeah. Pulling the meat out, it's a real chore, and they did it for us. They went through each leg, they took the shell off it, so you just... And then this big crabby towering cylinder right in the middle that has all the different body meat. Then they have two big old claws. That's like the dessert bite. Amazing. By trying some of this sauce. And then we have some freshly made bread. Cheers. Cheers. It's got a little bit of kick. It is salty though, it's powerful. It's incredibly savory, just a ton of different spices in there. All right, let's jump in here. I think we start with the legs. You pull it out. Wow, how yes. can they do that? It's crab for lazy people. Let's it's go so for it. It's crazy how skillful they are. <laughs> this is how you should eat crabs, for real. This is how it should be. We've come a long way. Flashback to the first location. The legs have almost nothing inside. They're so small and frail and thin. And now we're here. This mm. is amazing. Herbs, removing it. It's a pretty good amount of meat. They've really got every shred, every morsel out of this thing. This is like a crab cake, but like full of crab. Oh my. Mm. This is worth every cent. The best part is there is like no shell in there. Even when we were doing it ourselves today and I was trying to be careful, I was eating like half shell. I'm worried about what's gonna happen. All right, next, you know what we have? A big final bite coming up. You're kidding. Big, beautiful claw. Let's go for it. Biggest one ever. Crazy stuff. I feel just bad for the audience at this point. They're just watching two people be gluttonous. So you can kind of just chew around this big bone. Now this bone was giant in our first crab today. And, and basically there was just no meat left. But here, plenty of meat. It's really dense, juicy, succulent, sweet. It's everything you want in crab meat, all in one place. This isn't even our knockoff worth it series. This is our trying different rare food series. But I gotta say, $100, absolutely worth the bang for your buck, it. Twin, today we tried three very unique types of crab. Which was your favorite? <laughs> it's so obvious. The last one, first, it has a lot of meat. I don't have to touch anything. Second, the sauce is amazing. I never have anything like that. This might surprise you. The final location, my favorite. My issue with crab, from the beginning, I said it this morning, I hate this, the messiness and, and the wasted amount of meat. Harry, can you get out of our shot? Harry and Lion City has solved this problem and he basically um, solved the pandemic.
with this dish. Being an influencer doesn't require millions of fans. All you need is this t-shirt. Entertain and inspire at your own pace. Don't be an influencer. Be a micro-influencer. Get your shirt now. How do you get someone to try a seafood they've never had before? So he actually thanks to you. Really? It's good to know we're doing a little bit of good in this world. Imagine being this crab. Uh, it lived a long life. We killed it. We boiled it. We cooked it. And then we're disappointed. Aww. Like if somebody cut me open and they're like, this is it? The sauce, it gives me heartburn. I don't want to sound too Asian, but it would be very nice with rice. <laughs> no, you sound just appropriately Asian, not too Asian. The chef just walked over here like five minutes ago. It was like, yeah, it's a lot better if you just eat with your hands. This is the most crab I've I've ever eaten in one day. I'm afraid I'm gonna get gout. Oh yeah, very possible. Yeah. I don't if you know keep if up in. drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk about the drinking problem. Guys, that is it for this one. A huge thank you to Twin for joining me today. Yay! Awkward handshake. <laughs> you can see what she's up to on her Instagram page, located right here. That is it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time. A peace. peace. Oh, you go that way. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and good. I am full of crabs, and I have crabs. Also, I didn't mention that in this video, but I have crabs.